Hey, we are on vacation. I thought you'd say vacation with oh, me. Vacation. <laughs> That's why I said we are on. <laughs> so, we didn't go very far. We're still in Saskatchewan. We're at Moose Jaw at the Temple Gardens Spa Hotel. Um, so I'll give you a little tour of the room. We have like, what is our room called? The jacuzzi room? Luxury jacuzzi Luxury room? Luxury jacuzzi room. Like that. And so with the title like that, I thought we'd be getting a little bit more, but so this is the entrance. So <laughs> the jacuzzi is just in the middle of the room, which is interesting. And then we got a king size bed. Um, okay, TV, I guess. And then this is her luxury bathroom. Just feel like I would not use those words to describe this, but. We took like the scenic route to get here because you can only check in at four and it only takes two hours to drive here and so we took a ferry across a river there's lots of rivers in Saskatchewan and it was like an hour wait to get onto this ferry and I was not expecting to wait that long so by the time we both got here by the time we both got here by the time we got here we both had to pee really bad <laughs> So it is the spa water, so we can take a jacuzzi in our own room with the actual spa water. We figured that might be a nice idea since it's still COVID season. Yeah, you still can go downstairs too. But. Yeah, the pool is open, but they're only allowed like a certain capacity and then you're, you are still with strangers in a giant pool. So here we can have our own little spa time and then tomorrow we're getting hot stone massages. I just realized this is our view from the room. It's just <laughs> the casino. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to go to the casino? Yeah, gonna... it, it's a big influence. Hey, we're, we're there's, gonna... a, there's a casino right there, you know. Bam. I got a brilliant idea. We should go gamble. Yeah, there's the skywalk right there. So you don't even have to leave to go outside to get to the casino. Can someone explain to me why traveling is like the most exhausting thing a person can do? <laughs> I've, we've been sitting in a car for five hours and I'm like, okay, now I would like to sleep, even though we've done literally nothing all day. But Ross is hungry, so we gonna go for some foods. So this is just uh, where we have our car at, but here's one of the murals that they have all over. Oh, I just noticed this guy's sticking out. That's cool. They also have a guy sticking out over here too. <laughs> it's pretty interesting, but yeah, we're just parked up here and then we gotta go in, take the skyway across. <laughs> it's kind of an ordeal. It's just so blurry for some reason. Oh, there we go. Now it fixed itself. We gotta take this skywalk across, which is actually pretty neat. But yeah, every time we have to take our car, we have to do a lot of walking. <laughs> so we're we're inside the jacuzzi and oh there we go. And we're watching Twister. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> It is day two and it's uh, sprinkling. <laughs> it's, not, it's not super nice out today. We were hoping to go for a walk. There's this uh, park just like right by our hotel, but hopefully it, it's not gonna be gross all day, but we're gonna go for breakfast. Uh, can I get a sausage acre? That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Um, and a small hot chocolate. One hash browns? No. So we did end up going to the pool for like just under an hour today. Um, it was like 
a couple screaming kids, which is kind of annoying because this is supposed to be like spa water. Um, but closer to noon, it got a lot more quiet. I guess people were leaving for lunch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what you're gonna get, I guess, when you're at a public area. Some screaming kids. We are finally out and about. <laughs> It's like um, after one, I think it is. Um, it's pretty cool, but I feel like that's just kind of May long. You might have a good May long. You might have a terrible May long, but it's all right. <laughs> Gotta make the most of it. Yeah, really. Oh gosh, the wind. <laughs> so um, we're actually heading- Turn left onto Main Street North, Saskatchewan to South. <laughs> I have the GPS on. Um, we're heading to the Moose Tracks Chocolate Factory. The, the times that it's open is very, very minimal. So it's only open for four hours today. So we, we have to go like now. <laughs> Oh, St. Ross <laughs> would like these ones and I would like this one. <laughs> so yeah, this, I guess there's a whole bunch of different um, companies in one store. I was thinking it would be like a giant like candy chocolate fudge factory and it was like more just like antiques and there was like a tiny section with fudge and candy and I was like, uh, it's not really my scene. But that one side that says, let's stay home, I was like pretty into it, but it's 30 bucks. I mean, it, I could have gotten it, but whatever. <laughs> if you guys are ever in Moose Jaw and have not done the Moose Jaw tunnels, this is where you start one of them, right here. But they are really good. Highly recommend the tunnels, but we've already, <laughs> we've already been on them. I've been on them twice, I think. Um, there's two of them. I went on the one as a child and then we went together a couple of years ago and they're really really good except for like once you've seen them you've seen them you don't like it's kind of the same every time so we're, we're not going to do it this trip. I wanted just to stop and show you guys this. It's the city hall I guess. It's such a cool looking building. They definitely have some really cool ones. We have some time before massages so we're going to quickly check out this park I was talking about. No. <laughs> I am very prone to earache, so I had to put my hood up because I was already starting to get get one and we've been outside for like four minutes. <laughs> ah, I got it from my mama. Okay, but we're, <laughs> we're gonna walk around a little bit and uh, check it out. a couple times but I've never seen Mac the Moose. Sorry, it's very very windy today. I would be nice if we had some good <laughs> weather but probably not gonna get any but anyways we're gonna take some pictures with Mac the Moose. So they put up this fence here. I don't know if this is always here but so you can't get super close to them which is annoying but hi so Quite a few hours later, and I want to tell you where we are, which is probably already in the title of this video, but we are in Cypress Hills. So since we're still in a pandemic and we can't really go anywhere or do any, anything, we've kind of decided, well, for May Long, we're just going to explore a little bit of our own province. So I've never been to Cypress Hills. It's like, um, inter it's called an interprovincial park, which I've actually never heard that before, but it means that 
It's in Saskatchewan and in Alberta. It's a giant, giant park. So Rob says I'm over here, got me thinking, oh, this hotel room is gonna be worse than the hotel room we had in Moose Jaw. The, Mo the one that we had in Moose Jaw was called Luxury Jacuzzi Room, so I thought it would be a lot nicer, but this one is just called the King Suite or something like that, but it's so nice and I gotta show you guys. So this is the door you walk in, and then there's this giant TV, and then a fireplace down there. I think it's just for heat, it's not real, but still. Little seating area, an entire living room. A kitchen, my goodness. And then there's Ross, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and then it has its own room for the king bed and its own TV. And then we'll go over here. The bathroom still isn't great. But, I mean, I would say it's way nicer than the one in Moose Jaw. The one in Moose Jaw, they just need to like, spend a million dollars or whatever it takes to just redo that whole hotel because it has so much potential but anyways I don't really know what we're gonna do because it rained almost the entire drive here and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow too and this is like kind of like an outdoorsy like there's lots of things to do outdoors but not a lot of things to do indoors so I don't know so we decided to brave the cold. I'm wearing Ross's sweater. Um, and we're gonna go down and see the water. It's still raining. Like, it's literally been raining all day. So, what are you gonna do about it? But, see if we can see some nature. <laughs> but I don't want my camera to get too wet either. There's the water. We've taken shelter. <laughs> but, I don't know if you can even see on the water. Oh yeah, you can. It's coming down the rain. <laughs> Jeez. So we were just under there. <laughs> but we've uh, come down underneath this gazebo, a little bit closer to the water here, but. It is disappointing that we drove all of this way and it's gonna be raining both of the days that we're here. <laughs> Oh, look at it. You see those geese? <laughs> Chilling in the rain. The lady at the front desk was like, are you guys planning on doing any hiking? And I said, well, it depends on the weather. And she said, well, I think it's clearing up now. <laughs> okay, Linda, sure. People didn't get their uh, I think the weather is messing with the cable. <laughs> So no hiking, no cable, <laughs> what are we gonna do? It is day four and our last day. It is extremely foggy and misty again out today. But we decided to go to the T-Rex Discovery Center, which is about an hour drive away. And it'll be inside at least. And I mean, who doesn't like dinosaurs? So last night we just um, went out for supper and then we ended up watching Ice Age. <laughs> Um, Ross asked for an HDMI cord, so we plugged my computer into the TV. So, I mean, I guess that's a hack, I guess, if you have a laptop or something and want to watch something on the TV. They might have an HDMI cord at the front desk. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is not what I was thinking it would be. The town is teeny tiny, and uh, the whole town well, at least the road that we drove on is not paved at all. <laughs> Just like a dirt, muddy road to get here. But we're here. Hopefully it was worth the drive. Kind of want to show you what the town looks like. Pretty darn small, but we are here. Oh, that was my mask. Yeah, it is it is like, it is pretty, like, it's like,
So this is Scotty. It's T-Rex. Apparently, he is the world's largest ever found T-Rex. And he's right here in Saskatchewan. It's pretty cool. Scientists estimate that Scotty weighed 8,870 kilograms and was over 28 years old at death. Wow. Jeez, can you imagine trying to run away from that? Like, I bet you my whole body could fit in his mouth easily. <laughs> so, this is really interesting. This is kind of what they think it would look like with its skin on. Look, look. In its mouth. <laughs> We just finished watching a video that said only, what, 12 half-decent T-Rexes have been found. So we really don't know hardly anything about them. They think that they hunted alone because no T-Rex has been found with another T-Rex. And we haven't really found like eggs or nests or anything. Like, I didn't realize. We got this tiny little horse on display. Three toad horse. <laughs> it looks so funny. And then right over here, you got this guy. He's a brontotherpa, I guess. Jocelyn's being a paleontologist. <laughs> The vertebrae and the ribs and the leg bones were all uh, bones that were had already eroded. I'd say if you're in like the Cypress Hill area, you should definitely stop by here. It's not that far, but it is pretty small and there's not like a whole lot to do out here. So maybe it's maybe not something you'd want to go super out of your way to come to, but the guy that we were talking to there was obviously loved his job. He told us a lot of really cool information but he he seemed very excited about and that um what was that uh dinosaur that he dug up called i can't remember anyways that he dug it up himself so he was like uh seemed very proud he found it himself he discovered it he stumbled upon the oh, pieces yeah yes. and then he dug and then they dug Both. it up too he discovered it and he dug it up so that's pretty cool. Hey, cowsies. Oh, you want to pet the cows? Kind of, but I'm worried they're going to get in front of the car, too. I probably pet them when we're out of the car. <laughs> so, day five, kind of. We're technically on our way home, but we wanted to stop at the great sand hills of Saskatchewan. So... We'll see if it was worth the drive. Um, it's you have to take a like a grid road to get out here, and a dirt path, pretty much. <laughs> so here's the sign. I mean, it looks cool from the pictures. <laughs> Approximately 1,900 square kilometers. We. Sediment deposited by glacial meltwater during the retreat of the Laurentide ice sheet beginning approximately 13,000 years ago. So, yeah, there's lots of cows that I show <laughs> coming in here. The sign says cows at large, so you gotta, there's no fences or anything, they're just walking around. And I'm a little bit worried about it. <laughs> cows can be cows can be very nice, but they also can be pretty aggressive. So uh, I don't know. Look at this. It's humongo. <laughs> okay. All right. No more side business. We're going to the sand dunes. So I guess somebody was playing football out here. But I mean, there it is. The great sand hills of Saskatchewan in all its glory. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. You could probably bring like a, a carpet or something and slide down the sand. 
climbed up the, the hill here. See, that's where we were. I mean, if you don't look at the prairies in the background, you could imagine we're like in a desert somewhere. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna be doing anything other interesting on this trip. I think um, from here to Saskatoon, we're just gonna be stopping for food and water and possibly bathroom breaks. So I will leave this video here. If you did like this little Saskatchewan adventure, please leave a like so I know. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.